Uh, this is February the 13th, 2024 it is, and today I will be video recording continuation of, uh, I just hope I'm going to do this part and the next one, and then that's going to be it. Something I already video recorded and I'm going to have to do it again, but in this case here, we, I have to proceed with this combination here still not completed is delivery of the watch uh, we are talking about we are talking about the watch i ordered <clears throat> when was it on january the 7 2024 i ordered this watch and the watch still did not arrive it's a uh, Skme watch. Um, yes, the CEOs for, from Skme were involved in it, as well as this was purchased from the Skme store, uh, as well as people from the Skme store, distributors, and so on, sellers. Uh, many different scenarios followed. Uh, delivery attempts says here is unsuccessful. Let's see what exactly that means, unsuccessful. Before I do this, I'm going to take date and time. Today is Tuesday. As I stated already, is Tuesday, February the 13th, 2024. You got it? Yes. Indeed, when this is recorded, and let's see how this watch traveled from China to Slovenia. Um, well, on the 8th, therefore the next day, after the payment was received, uh, the item has been packaged and already picked up to the large shipment, ready, bye-bye, departure in China. Um, export customs clearance started, export custom clearance completed two days later. Um, did depart China on January the 12th, 2024, and it did arrive to Slovenia, I don't know when, all I know is it cleared the customs on January the 14th, 2024, that's basically exactly one month ago. This watch was already in Slovenia at the customs. Therefore, the government, Slovenian government, got one in the hands. Uh, Slovenian postal services got their hands on it. And basically, since all the trail, uh, whether it was some other company that handled this in between, it disappeared. The watch I have placed address. Uh, for this watch this is kind of uh, not really the true here the true is uh, right here it says clearly it says here Posta Slovenia Posta Restante uh, is this here Novo Mesto it doesn't matter even if I would enter this stuff here boom no, it's not the postal service or anything like this. They do have names, people that order. Uh, therefore, totally impossible that you would not. Uh, you could not. You, it's possibly, it's not possible to miss this stuff. Now, if I click on the images, oh, yeah. Uh, the map is correct, but. Uh, you can go wrong with it. I mean, it's here. You can go wrong with it. There is a picture of the building. There is a map of it. Uh, I don't know how, other than what I was told, this also is going to be the case. Uh, they have come up with, to do the stuff like this, uh, it's just sick stuff. And, uh, but, I'm going to say, and, and, but, and everything else, it's not so crazy, you know. It's not so crazy. This stuff is not so crazy. This is actually pretty intelligent, you know. 
This stuff is all coordinated. This is the way you basically murder a person. This individual here that you see stated that I will never get this watch. We're talking about the Charles Windsor. And I explained with the photo. The jaw pain, jaw pain caused by tumor is one of the symptoms of cancer in the jaw. Jaw tumors are rare and usually benign. The thing is, they were playing with this stuff. The thing is, they injected me in the neck. The thing is that because it got so swollen during MK Ultra due to poisoning. The thing is, they hijacked me from Poland in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2019, when they hijacked me to Slovenia because my tooth would not break off because my tooth would not break off this is the second tooth they break me they were using also the teeth to poison my body with broke they would every time whenever they would hijack me they would take the plums out fillings out and those go to the root channels it was one of the main issues they have also suggested were using during mk ultra they would proceed through the private dentist to break off the tooth enough and put the filling back so Jesse would stay there till they would return me back to Poland. And as soon as they returned me back to Poland, the tooth simply broke off. And uh, when you connect the cancer in the neck, the thyroid that suffers from cancer issues, lymphoma issues, with a serious wound such as is the tooth, inside of your inside of my mouth in this case what i was told by american british physicians by slovenian physicians also uh you pretty much are dead it's just a matter of time before you're gonna have this kind of cancer here and then you're dead so i know that some stuff serious stuff is happening uh, all this stuff is not innocent uh, there is a way that Slovenian postal services contribute their best basically to save the British monarchy from being thrown on a trial for basically what was torture in which they were involved. Well, in case of Charles, Queen Elizabeth, Philip, Andrew, that was for 52 years these people were involved in it. That's a very, very considerable amount of time. Princess Anne and so on, Edward, for 52 years they were involved in it and they couldn't resolve one. And so, you know, the money opens the mouths from the people that are otherwise mute. Um, Slovenian government, just like a Polish government, is doing their best to assist British royals basically in their deeds. You know, they uh, are using my citizenship to basically my citizenship they have used to torture uh, to profit through this torture and now at this point in time for what you see basically my time is being wasted on uh, videos like this after I was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012 by the Slovenian government by the Ljubljana, by the Belgrade, by the Moskvici, uh, on behalf, coordinated with the British royals, with the government of the United States of America, also which citizen I became in year 2000. So, believe it or not, these people have goals, they work together on this agenda, and this was one of the agendas that they agreed upon, in other words, they would torture and torture and torture till they eventually would get me killed literally through the issues like this. So, uh, Slovenian postal psychiatric delivery of January the 30th, 2024 and February 6th, 2024. I did the video. The video is very, very explanatory. Uh, I missed to tell, I, I didn't do this pretty, I didn't do well this video because I didn't properly explain that the first item here that which I opened uh, I pick one up on um, 
On January the 30th, 2024, and would not open one. It didn't make me any sense to open one. Uh, there was no, uh, I could feel what is inside. It was completely evident that it was a glue, a regular glue. Uh, and so I waited and waited and waited with idea to get the proof about this watch here, which never arrived, basically. It cleared the customs on uh, January the 14th, 2024, and since it simply never arrived, they're basically claiming that they don't know anything about where this main postal office is in the city of the novel Minister. Who the fuck would think that you would not know in a place like this for, you see where it says the postal office? This is the fucking building. This whole building here that you see, this is all postal office here that you see. Uh, enough of it, enough of this crap. To make the story short, uh, I did dedicate a lot of videos to this watch in which Prince Charles was heavily involved in, obsessed with torture, with killing, literally through this watch. I'm sure you understand that a cancer issue uh, in your lymph node on your neck uh, is not a joke. I did give the scenarios about the watch. They continue to play with this watch. By the way, I did not disclose like a little graveyard of the watches that I have. I, I, I'm going to have to video record that, some other stuff. You know, I'm doing this shit already for so long. That's boring to me. Really, it's boring stuff to me. I just want to finish this and send this out uh, to get over with it, really, before I'm going to end up dead, you know. And so... This kind of stuff, I don't know what else I would say to you. This is the watch that never arrived. Uh, Prince Charles stated me, I will never even get one. Uh, the postal office workers, however, were different. Their way was different. I already have described. Uh, they, they bullied by the dates. And today was the 13th. They told me, sometimes in the middle of the month, like 15, you will get the watch. I, I, I don't think I'm going to even come for this watch anymore. I think the complaint is going to be sent out to the police before uh, I would come for this watch. They are laughing at me. They are humiliating me when I come. Uh, the whole thing is laughable, bullying. They do their best possible to protect their peers from London, Ljubljana, Moscow, Belgrade, it's a political thing, and uh, you know, today I said to myself, really, I said to myself that Adolf Hitler was a really great guy, you know, I said to myself, thanks God, you know, for Adolf Hitler, really, um, the thing is that, look what the fuck I am doing today, look, the shit I'm doing, look what kind of dementia we are we are discussing here. 52 years of this. 52 years of this. And, you know, I come to realize today that Adolf Hitler was a blessing. That was actually the best thing that ever happened to this world. Because if there was not for Adolf Hitler, I would not even... I would not even have a capacity to discuss this issue today. I could not even talk to you about anything. I could not even complain about anything, about anything. Uh, this man really, really, really changed the world for a much, much better place by simply burning one to the ground. I realized today, I came to realize that uh, his purpose to this world was really uh, making this world a better place through incinerating one. 
you might be laughing maybe right now you might be shocked you might be whatever you might be but ladies and gentlemen uh, you know what the word extermination is do you know what the the word the meaning of genocide is extermination you do know you know one because of Adolf Hitler you see the thing is that Europe did not pay really any attention to what the fuck went on before the arrival of Adolf Hitler only when they felt on their skin only after they tested on their after Hitler burned the whole continent turned one into ashes and so on people started to pay attention to injustice in this world they started to pay attention to the genocide to the words such as genocide uh, extermination and so on and but before that not really there, meant, there was not to forget about the people there was a lot of nations in europe and also around the world that simply disappeared from the map they ceased to exist like they would say abracadabra and you have the whole country disappearing from the map for good and never reappearing again a lot of nations walk into the dark now think about one single individual involved with a people like british royals putin uh, politicians from eastern europe okay politicians from asia and africa and united states of america and Canada and Australia and South America and so on. You're nothing. You are just a fucking ant. If it was not for Adolf Hitler, I would not even be discussing anything. I would have nothing to discuss about. Because, because the nations disappeared. The nation went off the map. They disappeared. And, you know... A single man, a single individual in this world is like nothing. You don't actually, you don't actually exist. You, you don't actually, you don't actually, in a case like this, you don't actually get to exist. Your existence is like non-existing existence. You live in a world that is parallel to the fucking world. In the same thing, the same, everything the same, except that you don't exist, basically. You go to the doctors, to the physicians, you're healthy. Fuck you. You can drop that next day. It doesn't matter. You go to the police, it's again, is fuck you. You're mentally ill. They come to you, they say you're mentally ill, even that you are not, and you go to the psychiatric hospital. Whatever they say is your word against them, theirs, and you don't have any it used to be in a soviet union like this that they just did like this with the people and it's now european union it's really bad and but it's still thanks to adolf hitler that you get to see me that you get to hear me because people finally started to pay because of hitler it was nothing before the hitler came there was nothing but because of hitler People started to pay attention to the words genocide, extermination, which British royals are really handy. They found other expressions for it. They, anywhere from uh, domestic violence turned into physical, they, they called it the physical violence. Uh, for individual, there is no such thing as genocide, it's a genocide and so on and so forth. They just, <laughs> basically, the world upside fucking down with military of the people that type the new expressions. They type new expressions every fucking day. When something with the truth become evident about something, you have factories, so like, General Motors is like tiny little shit compared to the factories I'm talking about. Blah, 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 blah. You're talking about the fucking newspapers. You're talking about the fucking internet. You're talking about the TV. You're talking about the fucking radio stations. It's a nothing. It's a General Motors is big like this. The people, the inventors of the words, 
like I suggested you right now. A mate. Their mate. Their mate. Based on the needs of the politicians. Their mate. Their mate. I can say the word domicile or physical violence, but that's not going to gain anything unless I'm going to employ radio stations, TV stations, internet, books, newspapers, you fucking name it. That's why I told you, they, they type new words all the fucking time. When I say they type, I mean brainwash people with misinterpretation of what reality really is. That's what. It really, thanks God, it was Adolf Hitler 80 years ago. I think it was exactly 80 million people that he ended up killing too. They, they, about 80 million people lost their lives. And Europe was completely incinerated. And it was really for the first time that the nations of this world started to pay attention to injustice and somewhat equal the value of individual, the life of an individual with those of more privileged of the higher sect up there. That's all I want to say. If it was not a, such a sorrow and pain and suffering that Hitler managed to produce 80 years ago, we would live in a fucking la-la land we would we would be absolutely i am actually thinking about it i thought about this stuff today a little bit philosophically and i said to myself what the fuck would i even i would have nothing to talk about i would have nothing nobody to complain about i would have no place whatsoever already now is extremely difficult that's why i said i'm afraid that this case is being used it definitely was to completely destroy civilization, to completely annihilate the rules of law, civilization, uh, I call this human rights, I don't know. This is not about the human rights, this is about something else. Reality is somewhere else. It doesn't have, this is called corruption. And it's it's a bloody, isn't it? When you look at the Ukraine, is it bad? Is it like a lot of people dead and homeless and so on, right? But, you know, in Britain, I was going to say it's almost not much better. It's really bad. When you look at how many homeless people in the United States, in Britain, in Germany, and so on. Uh, human life is not worth that much. It's not worth that much, you know? That's why I said, let's bring the spirit, let's return the spirit back to the picture, like the one during the World War II. So we have something, something we can build upon, something we can use to, I don't know, exist. If, you know. Really, if, if, if so much sorrow, so much suffering would not be, took place 80 years ago, you wouldn't even see it. You would not even know anything about this. This shit would be all happening. It would be more sick people. It would be more homeless people. It would be more people killed. Uh, that's all there is to it. For better or for worse, definitely for better. We did have 80 years, more or less, life somehow, at least in this part of Europe. Uh, many were not that fortunate in Asia, in Africa, the war went on. Uh, all kinds of wars, all kinds of uh, stuff that went on. Uh, but, you know, before the World War II, uh, the whole world was uh, in fire. It was worse all over the place. A tremendous sacrifice 80 years ago, but far from the worst one, from far from what used to be uh, life prior to Adolf Hitler. He was really the, the most evil person in this world, but he did 
change the world, believe it or not. He did change the world for better, at least for a while. At least for a while, okay? We don't know nothing about how things are going to turn, all right? But at least you get to see me, you get to hear me, and with me, there is a lot of other people, all kinds of homeless people, all kinds of stateless people that are paying the price, they are paying the cost, not for the state incompetence, but for the sake of this here, ethnic cleansing. Yes, yes, that's the way it goes. Let's go to this video and let's finish this stuff here. This here, as I started, is about delivery. First, I have received on January the 30th, 2024. Uh, it, not only it was a glow inside. It didn't make any fucking sense for me to open this thing. It didn't make any sense for me to open this stuff here. None whatsoever. Uh, and then I got another uh, surprise uh, when I stopped <coughs> the old postal office uh, six days, seven days later. It was on January the 6th, uh, uh, February the 6th of 2024. I also stopped by the postal office. Uh, when I got... Uh, Two flashlights, just as they are seen here, uh, worn, used, scratched, all fucked up also. Uh, just basically the way you see it in the video. You know, you just have to go basically visit this link here. Uh, and, you know, this is, how can I say, a triumph this is a uh, uh, conquest for the bloody 11, 12 euro word watch, which Prince Charles, now King Charles, claimed uh, he, he really did. At one point in time, he suggested I would not even ever get this watch. <laughs> So, this is a, um, this is basically what this is. That's why I say, thanks God for Adolf Hitler. That's why I'm really, really, really grateful to God that he sent Adolf Hitler to Earth. I am really, really grateful to one. Um, my money is being used, basically, to get me killed. Literally, my money is being used to get me killed. And literally killed through the governmental agency such as our postal office, postal services. Really? I don't know. I don't know where you go from there. Without a job, without absolutely everything, without anything in life, uh, you can go and you can hit with your head wall, uh, you can do a lot of things with your life. Uh, I don't know. The, it comes the question what the purpose of your life is. And in my, in my question, uh, British royals were doing this to me 52 years. They were doing this stuff for 52 years. 52 years, I'm 52. It started when I was nine months old. You know, uh, where they go from there, well, I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, thanks God for Adolf Hitler. Thanks God, yes, yes. Thanks God for Adolf Hitler. And let's see how this stuff will develop further, basically. Uh, you know, folks, uh, the punishment was not big enough. It becomes to me evident that the price that you paid 80 years ago was not big enough. Definitely was not big enough. Um, I went further and I thought about this stuff, you know. And I said to my, you know what I said to myself, you know. Definitely the people that were involved in MKUltra, the observers, the participants, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I said to myself... 
the punishment absolutely was not great enough, big enough, hard enough 80 years ago because people forgot their lesson. They didn't learn anything from it. Uh, they continue on that same path that caused so much evil 80 years ago. And sure enough, before you know, we're going to have the same picture repeated, repeat itself again. It's the people that do this kind of stuff. It's the people that allow this kind of evil, the conquest, this evil, basically, to, to go on and go on and go. I have no fucking idea whether this is entertaining to you. I, I have no idea how this is. I am in Slovenia. Slovenia is part of the European Union. And uh, Germans were thrilled. They love this case. They love this case. They love it. They, they, Angela Merkel was drowning in laughter. Angela Merkel had tears of joy running down her face, as well as other politicians, presidents. They were just, they were just absorbed. They were just taken over. Um, Angela Merkel would. Whenever she had the opportunity, would remind me basically is my asking a participating people inside of the MK Ultra. I'm gonna do this for you. So when you do the movie about this stuff, so that you you understand basically what went on here, how much of the degree of torture what this is. That's why I said, where do you go from there? Do you go and you run into the wall? Do you smash against? What do you do? Do you throw yourself on the bridge like they suggested me? They suggested me to kill myself, to put a rope around my neck and uh, jump from the building down and all, all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, she, what is going to summarize this case, yes, she said to me like this, she said to me, you know, she said to me, I love it so much every time. I love it so much every time. Can you tell us? Uh, can you please do one more time? Can you, can you ask us, why do we have to be normal? Why do we have? Can you please ask us, why do we have to be normal? Because the degree of torture was so big that I actually even settled for what they suggested indirectly would only keep me safe in this world. Uh, very much willingness and will to live in this world as crazy as insane. Because they tortured me so much that they would... present me abuse as a form of relief as a form of um, as a form of uh, a higher a better quality of being systematically killed tortured that's how much they abused they tortured so much that uh, when they presented me crazy things, of course, crazy things during MK Ultra is a much easier, a much more convenient, a better way. Uh, I ended up asking them, why do we have to live normal during MK Ultra? And it, it was a torture session that was designed in a such a way that it would suggest you, but yeah, but you want to live normal. You could have all this, you could have all that, but you want to live normal. So they torture you, then they present you like side of life during MK Ultra. This is no life, but they present you like alternative to that torture, uh, the easier way, more convenient. And then they say, yeah, but you want to. You want to have it normal so you cannot have this. 
and eventually they do this so they could get out of my so they got out of my mouth not only once but on several occasions ask me asking them why do we have to live normal and this was for the germans it was the looks it was something that bring them joy to their eyes tears of joy uh well i mean it must be entertaining when you do somebody like this uh destroy somebody's life and in the end you basically get him literally you get him killed he must be entertaining okay it must be entertaining well i mean when you when you do this to somebody for 52 years i do have the right to say that if somebody else would say that it would be under different circumstances it would not be the same but they have done this i'm 52 now so yes i can say that kind of stuff i have a privilege to say this it feels like privilege although i didn't have any kind of privileges in life and privileged people do stuff like that um when you understand so much when you understand so much about it all the words that i stated to you early about the hitler uh, it's uh you know it's uh it morally logically um it gives you uh, a sense a feeling of of hope yeah it gives you a sense of feeling of hope 80 million people dead and the whole europe burned to the ground uh, yeah <laughs> it kind of sounds crazy but yeah it gives you it gives you a sense of uh, that you actually have chance for your voice to be heard you understand me it wasn't only europe that suffered it was asia china uh americans numerous died in that but when you make the combination of it when you uh when you consider all this and you find yourself in my position your only hope is that the pain the suffering i lost family members in my own family uh still i'm gonna say your only hope is that whatever people learned from the past uh is maybe a chance of, yeah that you could be considered seen actually as a human being uh you know considered like a human being and uh have through the law enforcement uh, of course through the courts through the uh, justice system uh through police you know these people basically punished accordingly to uh, bestiality if you don't like the words crime against humanity okay uh let's let's go and talk about the bestiality let's say that i'm a beast and you perform bestiality or let's say that uh, let's predispose that that's how because of course this is not the crime against humanity the people at european court for human rights or united nations are going to immediately argue and their factories of course are justifying this every fucking day they invent new words every every fucking day they invent new words you know you invent them by typing basically by repeating the lie let's just say that right it's not a crime against humanity i say this is just a bestiality so they could be judged upon their deeds so they could be judged upon basically the way about their conduct the way their conduct was against me um, let's go to this business with this watch let me finish this stuff uh i don't know i don't want to exaggerate but is it maybe like 30 watches they destroyed me stolen definitely more than 30 watches they definitely throughout my life 
they probably in Slovenia when I was growing up, they have stolen and break me. Probably when you're talking about the Casio watches, they probably did at least like I don't know, probably during my childhood, at least like I count probably maybe even 15 of them. You know, uh, they were giving me the gifts, they were giving me the stuff so they could break or, or steal and so on. This, this is just basically, this is just my classic childhood, you know. Uh, you get the nice jacket so it can be stolen the next day. Or you get the nice shoes so they can be cut, chopped. Uh, or you get, uh, uh, you know, something so, you know, and, and, and so on. And always the same shit, basically, always the same stuff. And it was always British royals that participated in this kind of stuff. As I said that. These people are, I would not repeat myself, sick, but uh, I am age 52. I'm now age 52. <laughs> uh, they give me a lot of very good advices on how I concentrate to finish my project, not to buy the cheap watches, not to buy this, not to buy that, not to buy not, fucking nothing. Uh, really, 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 I do not know why they drive themselves in the Rolls Royces, why they live in a castle, why they always purchase whatever they purchase is the most expensive, why they wear Rolex watches, why they wear all this stuff uh, when, you know, none of that stuff really matters in life. Why do they go 10 times a week to the physicians? Why do they have army physicians behind them in hospitals? Why do they have armies of psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, examining their articles, future articles they would publish and so on? Why the fuck if, you know, why? Why is it that they believe that, you know, for me it would be okay like this and for them it's just uh, different that is necessary? Um, let's go and finish this stuff. Uh, really, really a uh, subject I wanted, if, if somebody's going to do a movie on this subject ever, it was people from Hollywood that were motivated with people already who had written producers, scenarios, movie scenarios. There was a legioner, French legioner, who had entire book, my biography, written, book written already, and so on and so forth. Just, you want to do this stuff, you got to do it from the point of view that I depicted you right now. Yeah, I am not average person. I'm not a regular person. I am not... Uh, I'm not going to say I'm not any kind of person because I like to see myself as any kind of person. Uh, I am just not in a position, in an average position. I'm just not in a position of uh, average human being that would encounter this kind of issues. Or I would say I'm not an average person to settle for the average, which in my case probably would be, I don't know, under the dumpster or a long time ago or... I have no idea, maybe bumping my head against the wall or doing some stuff, crazy stuff, maybe robbing him bank or something, I don't know. Uh, just from my perspective, basically, I always am trying to justify, understand the issues, why was it, the higher meaning of all this, uh, how it all happened and why did it go so far. And where is it taking it from within? What's happening with this world? What, what's going on? How is it that, that we have gotten so far without anyone actually intervening, doing things, anything about it? Uh, I think I did a really good job. It's got a lot to do with the corruption, with loss of human conscience, with lack on, of, with lack of memory on what took place. No, actually with, fuck that, with a lack of memory about the sacrifice 
the humanity have, uh, you know, dedicated itself to, to liberate itself from handcuffs of evil. The world almost ended 80 years ago. It, it was a miracle that humanity managed to survive the hell from 80 years ago. You know, let me tell you, the world is now, thanks to Adolf Hitler, I didn't drink vodka or anything like this. Don't look at me in a funny way. The world is now, thanks God, thanks to Adolf Hitler, united like never before against evil the world is now determined because of experience from eight years ago to stop the evil before it develops into something else uh, like was in the case of neo-nazi germany during the world war ii like it is in the case of Vladimir Putin today in 2024. World is united, will stop the evil before the evil will uh, expand to the degree that it could destroy humanity. That's a good thing about Adolf Hitler because before the World War II, you can trust me, the world was shit. The Soviet Union destroyed, killed, uh, nobody got on the way till it went on Europe. Uh, and uh, the same thing was in Africa. Uh, nobody cared. In Asia, they colonized in Asia, they colonized in Africa, they colonized in South America, they killed left and right. But once they started to test their own medication, their own medicine, when the bombs started to rain on Paris, on London, uh, then they started to understand. I'm going to say even Eastern Europeans, such as Ukrainians and Polacks, and Ukraine did not exist as a Soviet Union, but Czech, Polacks, and Everybody was occupied with being colonized, basically. Everybody was trying to break free here. But when this bro war broke out, when, when the, the colonizers alone felt pain and suffering of Adolf Hitler, when he brought the curse upon them, uh, it was a different uh, view that opened. The world began to breathe, the world have uh, opened its eyes and understood that they are against something that could seal their fates for good if they don't manage to uh, break free. You know, and only because of this and because of nothing else, you get to hear me. <laughs> You get to see me, uh, and just maybe I'll be lucky enough to actually, I don't know, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be difficult, uh, but maybe, maybe, you know, this these people are very, very elusive, maybe I'm a little bit humorous today, maybe I am a little bit humorous today, they're very, very elusive, they like to escape, like if you read this news today, oh, they like to disappear, beforehand you know we let so many obituaries ladies ladies and gentlemen we read so many obituaries lately you know this one died here that one got killed there and so on would you believe me that during the time i published this thing here would you believe me this seriously i'm serious would you believe me that during time when i published this here it was my relative that I was told passed away. He's got my last name. 
uh, Tone Assets. Just I press this here, I publish this thing here, click, I did click, and uh, very, very, very shortly after the telephone rang, I come to the telephone, I said, yes, hello, you know, my, uh, uh, you know, it was his wife, she said, she said Tone Assets died. Okay, uh, maybe to make things more interesting, uh, he was a cousin of my father. Uh, I saw him in a way like an uncle because he was older. Uh, um, um, older than myself, I mean, he was sportsman right he go he went to himalaya and stuff like that you know he climbed himalaya uh south america and so on mountains and that kind of stuff skiing and um well um he was inside of the hospital for like uh, uh they have him i i heard for about one month and uh, then they just delivered him at the home for elderly people today uh and uh, uh right where the father is right where the, where the father is at home for elderly people you know uh in the same almost in the same department at home for elderly people uh and uh, well i published that news and i got a phone call from his wife that he passed away that he passed away and i i asked my mom i was trying to communicate this to my mom and my mom comes and you know i tell her about his death and uh my mom tells me that uh, she saw him today and um, the whole thing is a bit suspicious, strange, I have to say, uh, that she saw him today, but that uh, that it was his name, and when she saw him, there was nothing other than bones and skin, and... Uh, My mom is really strange. Really, really. This is strange stuff. It's a strange case. I did not investigate it one yet. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was involved in it. It is something that supposedly had happened in 2016 during the torture at home for elderly people where they had me. Um, and... Uh, At first, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated in 2016, when this exact uncle was at the General Hospital Novo Mesto, they deliver him at the Home for Elderly People. It's when psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, this actually happened to be completely exact in 2015, uh, and then in 2016, they continued to rehearse the same thing. They continued to extort with the issue uh, repeatedly on how uh, very shortly after it was the father that died, uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapp asked me how much after uh, your uncle died, your father died. Uh, was it uh, two months, six months, and he said, no, it was two months after, yeah, to the same department at Home for Elderly People, where they would, where they would deliver me, uh, for torture is where they delivered my uncle, who was at the hospital in 2015, then this time frame, as the time passed, reduced, changed, the new story came up, asking me how much longer did your father after your uncle died, 
and it was one month. Uh, he gave me the answer. It was one month after. Uh, how much again? And how much did we say your father died? It was also the nurse uncle from elderly from home for elderly people was asking me how much soon after your uncle died was your father that died? I was stupid enough during MKH to even answer that question, and Yanko and psychiatrist Kapsch laughingly started to argue in front of me, one stated three weeks, other one whatever. Then it was soon two weeks with the same question that repeated and so on and so on. So that's why I said this stuff still needs to be investigated. I'm not saying that my uncle today did not pass away. This is not, or maybe that he was not killed or whatever the case might be. I'm just in a circumstances that are kind of uh, strange with not my not being so mentally ill because <laughs> because it's becoming evident that what's happening around me uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're never going to see me smile like this, but <laughs> it's a very unusual opportunity to laugh when somebody dies to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope nobody's going to feel insulted about this stuff anymore. This is the stuff that absolutely every reporter hates, moment like this. Uh, but to me, everything is about the logic. Everything is about how to process. It was, it used to be how to process the struggle, the pain, and so on and so forth. <laughs> and the thing is that uh, it's not about the struggle. It's not about the pain anymore. It's about to get this stuff done and move on with the life, basically. Because this shit went on for already so long. And the human conscience that was involved in this stuff, it appears that it not learned nothing from experience that, uh, <laughs> that took place 80 years ago. If you understand me. Uh, it's not supposed to be like this. This is actually, you know, turning into a comedy with probably some people even laughing behind the, uh, you know, behind the screens, you know. And that's definitely not supposed to be the funeral of my uncle, not supposed to be like that. Uh, we're supposed to be serious about all this stuff. And now, still, I think that uh, he would want to hear at least the truth about his involvement in MKOTRO very, very long. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> you know, with the neighbor that, <laughs> with the neighbor that that was involved in MK Ultra, younger than myself, who whose doppelganger I have seen the other day at the station here, the train station. Uh, and a guy who traveled to Ljubljana. Uh, requested from me to interview him. They demanded from me to see him as a neighbor. Oh, that's why it was like this because a neighbor, another neighbor saw him taking me to the home for elderly and back and came to conclusion that he saw another neighbor who also was taking me and who passed away. It's what they claim. Uh, and then another guy over there who was involved in it, it, and so on and so forth, and another guy, and another guy, and all the people that are involved in MK Ultra are basically left and right, uh, with however many, many, many left alive, as alive, there's many, many of them still alive, there's many of you alive, <laughs> it's too many. 
<laughs> it's too many for you for me to go wrong about this stuff the stuff I do uh, too many proofs are on me okay not thanks to you guys but really 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 thanks to the evil that harmed this planet 80 years ago chances for me even exist chances for an ordinary guy like this even exist so <laughs> i can't stop laughing about this stuff uh no this is not the stuff i am laughing about this is not laughable i am not laughing about any of this um i normally would be uh depressed i normally would be uh, in a bad spirits, I normally would be, uh, you know, but the normal, normal is this here. This is, this is basically the normal. You know, the normal is this. The normal is, in my case, in my case, the normal is this here. It, what it says right below, you know uh that's basically the normal i'm going to put the link below so that you understand exactly what i am talking about And now what I want to do is I want to go and I'm going to have this translated to you. What is this here? This is actually the visits to the postal office. Uh, I did this stuff here. You know, this is the stuff I did. This is the stuff I have done. I did this video. What I did fail to mention, there's only one thing I did fail to mention to you. Uh, it's basically when I open the here and it, it becomes evident it's see glue this, inside. The glue that is um, 60 millit, milli, uh, 60, uh, you know, milliliter glue destroy shoes by causing another damage, different kind of damage okay so when you see when i open the tube this tube was involved in mk ultra this is the glue for the shoes i did not i failed to mention on this video uh, this tube uh, exactly like this i'm not going to say that this one but exactly like this tube with exactly the damage that you see right there uh with exactly that damage right there it's uh, squeezed here yep exactly the way you see it like this with that kind of damage it's not only squeezed it's more than squeezed it's actually damage to the tube that's exactly the item uh i'm not gonna see i'm not gonna say exactly this is the item i'm gonna say exactly the item that was involved in MK Ultra in brainwash. Yes, I was told they're going to destroy me the shoes. I'm going to need the glue. I'm going to buy the glue from China cheap. And then you're going to get the tube like this. Yes. Was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, probably beginning even 2016. I was guaranteed. You know what? Maybe even earlier maybe even i have no no fucking clue uh, something is telling me even 2014 but let's go with the 2016 uh, i was guaranteed that exactly the damage you see right there is what my item is going to come with and that i should not even bother by the psychiatrist peter Koch, that i should not even bother to repair my shoes psychiatrist peter kapsch again use other people to communicate with in front of me suggesting basically that if he would go and repair the shoes soon he would learn 
that it was time and money thrown away. So that's why basically that's why that's why a little bit unusual video because this shit has been going on forever. Package is open, switched it items. Uh, all kinds of stuff that goes on, literally by the police. So this is basically what was inside of the package from January the 30th of 2024, you understand? And I opened one on the same day as I pick it up, this package is here where you will see inside are uh, basically uh, also fucked up, scratched, old, used uh, reflectors like this. Yes, like this. All this is all fucked up, scratched. This is... I ordered the two of them and they are in different, in the same condition, in the same shape as the two others I have ordered before. Uh, every one of this item was ordered from a different sellers. So this is not from one seller or whatever, but they are all from different sellers to ensure neutrality and factuality of what you see here. This is absolutely switched by the police and so on and so forth. We're not going to go into it. Uh, instead, what I will do is I will use this here. I will use this here, we're going to use this one here, go here, copy, paste, boom, voila, and we go down here. If I make you laugh today, that's good. I rather you to laugh than to cry. Uh, there is a lot of irony involved in it, there is a lot of drama involved in this stuff, a lot of craziness, and nothing is really funny. Uh, but still, better to laugh than to cry. I'm going to put it this way. So now we have two of these. And all this stuff, you know, ladies and gentlemen, all this stuff is still the quest to get uh, this item here. This is basically this fucking item that... Supposedly, it says right there, delivery attempt unsuccessful on January the 26th, unsuccessful and so on and so forth, you know, that kind of stuff. It's unsuccessful, huh? it's unsuccessful, and we don't deliver this stuff. This can be yours for 14 euros. To me, it's a, of a sentimental value because not only was involved in MK Ultra, but because uh, the original, what you see here, was created by the Tasio long time ago, long, long, long time ago, sometimes like in 2000 or something like that. And then it was something that they wanted to create something different and so on and so forth. And they were playing during MK Ultra with. Uh, variety of different uh, colorful this is a very colorful watch products uh, of which I was asked about what this would be you know uh, what this more or less what kind of what would I do what kind of stuff and so on and this and that and so on and so forth and then it was just a uh, tons of magazines uh, that eventually prevailed uh, kind of a, I don't know, cheeky watch or whatever you want this. Uh, very nice watch though, I think. I think. I had one during MK Ultra. They were showing one to me, but in real time, I never had. I learned about this watch just as I stated about two months ago, whatever, uh, when I record this from MK Ultra, and it was the video I used, how the watch industry was used as an extension of the psychiatry. It was, literally was used to drive me insane. 
through the use of watches. So it wasn't only watches. Obviously, materialism, obviously, is the lesson here that was used to drive me insane. Uh, you know, uh, not really. I never was insane. I never cared about, despite everything, about the watches. You know, I could go and... Uh, not about the watches, not about the cars. I never was... Uh, absorbed with with any of this stuff it's completely completely wrong uh, I it, it, this never was my case I had uh, despite everything I had you know money on the bank that I could go and buy myself I don't know the biggest Mercedes or a new Mercedes or uh, any kind of watch I wanted to I had a store where I would go and purchase with my salary, with my pay, watches for, I don't know, maybe $1,000, $2,000 from the wholesalers and stuff like this so that I could sell these watches and so on. This never was the case with me. I had, uh, I always had like, like, like this, like a cheap watch like this uh, or, you know, simply even more simple watch that only had shown no, I'm not even sure if it showed the seconds I think it did <clears throat> I think it did uh, show the seconds I never was a watch sick person uh, but I don't know in this strange world where you spend your life stateless you know, I never had a citizenship in my life. You know, I I was born in Yugoslavia. That's basically Greater Serbia, like a Soviet Union. And this is basically where the Serbs uh, ethnically cleansed, killed, genocided, exterminated others uh, in this Yugoslav Federation, right? Uh, so, yeah, hell, it would be nice to have your own country, even if it's a little one like Slovenia is. And that one was actually stolen away from me. That one continued the bestiality that Josip Bros Tito started at my age nine months, you know. And then so I immigrated to United States of America and became citizen in 2000. And uh, all along, it was nothing other than torture that went on. And once I became a citizen, uh, things did not change anything for better, only for worse. It was more and more abuse, you know. Uh, the longer I stayed abroad in the United States of America, the more American government felt they have inflicted damage to me great enough so that the citizenship could be simply uh, used to caused me more psychological harm than anything else, you know, so so that it could be used to uh, basically through forced unemployment repatriate me back to Slovenia, right? Either you go on the street or uh, obviously you need a job. Uh, see, this is the hope from the British royals, this stuff here. I don't know if you can see it, but this year, this year, this is what they hope for. Uh, and so that's what they paid Slovenian police for. Uh, and so, you know, they uh, simply, in this stateless, wor stateless world, world of forced joblessness, systematic destruction, uh, Finally, would not even leave me with, with absolutely anything, basically, and that even involved, basically, going out there and buy myself a watch or something like that, that I would have, uh, was systematically used to... 
harassed, bullying me, basically destroying me a good number of watches by stating me, psychiatrist, police, basically saying to me, uh, you know, people basically who yesterday protested that I am son of a rich man with a big land, with a big house, and they are poor and so on, uh, became extremely wealthy compared to me collecting a lot of money, uh, batting themselves basically in the money, and no longer knew how to indulge themselves through the torture, literally. That's why I said that, uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe Hitler did not do enough damage 80 years ago. Maybe, maybe the suffering was too easy. You know, right now when I talk about these police officers and these psychiatrists, I only wish for that Hitler have caused much, much more death and devastation. Much, much more. Uh, including, you know, I'm not going to even say. I was going to say, you know, something that I'm rather going to keep silent about what I was going to say. But uh, you can see that it's this kind of stuff that is just uh, parading out there, basically doing um, huh, I don't know the English word how I would uh, not posing in a public, but yeah, publicly basically making itself visible uh, without any fear of being prosecuted, jailed, or anything like this. Um, literally suggested me on what watch, basically, $2 watch, I would be allowed to use. You know, they always demanded from me to tell them if this watch is good, if that watch is good, if what is good, what is not good, what is, you know, this cable, is it good? the color you like, how about the telephone, how about this, how about the car, how about that, how about that, no, I don't know, every one of you have probably expectations in life, your standard, the way you see yourself, and the way these people did with me is that anything that would not be according to my taste was simply uh, I was basically promised whatever, whatever, whatever they would, uh, whatever they would have. Uh, how can I say? Do you see this junk car, rusty, fucked up car? Yeah. Uh, do you like it? No. Why not? Huh. Well, just so you know, you will have this kind of car. This is what you will drive and so on and so forth. It's kind of a hard to tell this to somebody that works, that does his job, that is looking to get more money, that is trying to get ahead. Uh, a little bit hard, yeah. Uh, without actually having any kind of argument that you could use to articulate to the person to prove one that he's going to have the old rusty fucked up car uh, and or that he will sleep on the street and or that he will wear the watch for one euro or two euros and or that he's going to get everything fucked up, that he's going to be becoming a collector of the junk. I'm sure the young strong person that is normal is educated, well educated, is not going to believe you any of that, even less he's going to be willing to settle for that, you know, and so it kind of a turned into competition, into my rejecting what I was told, 
my life is I am basically and what my life is going to be and so on. Yeah, you know, and that was very, very personal. It became very, very personal with uh, uh, basically with the watches. Uh, yeah. Demonstrated me well over 1,000 different watches during MK Ultra. Uh, and demanding from me to see beautiful in something ugly. And there is no such thing like beautiful in something ugly, really. Uh, so I just want to calm you down about this stuff. You know, it's all about the expectations. It's all about how much you are willing to pay for something. Um, it's about overrated. It's about underrated. It's about too many issues I would not go and discuss about. Uh, but... Obviously, the watch for $2 cannot be ugly if you have two dollars in your pocket and obviously uh, that but it goes then to a different issues uh, if you have your standards and you demand something the way you would want to be seen maybe even basically your image maybe you will say to yourself well this watch costs 50 bucks and that's what i want I, I want just one watch 50 bucks and that's it that's pretty much what my standard was more or less which was completely not uncommon it was completely common in slovenia that this is just the way it works like that, you know uh, but everything in my life, the way I view things, whatever, it was wrong, everything was wrong, 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 wrong. You know, all my views about whatever I was doing was wrong. Uh, and they were working very, very hard on these issues, uh, involving all kinds of uh, professional people so that, uh, you know, they would prove me wrong and so on and so forth in where there was nothing actually to even to argue about. It is, in other words, I want to say they just wanted to argue and argue with me uh, all the fucking time about absolutely everything. Proving me wrong, whatever wrong. Uh, I basically was told everything wrong, everything wrong. Okay, so, all right. So, um, I am just going to go, uh, I, I probably did go too far with this philosophy. I just want to, to finish this, this whole thing about, uh, about this, uh, about this uh, watch business. If I say 30 watches were destroyed and stolen, um, This is stupid stuff because this isn't about the watches. This is about everything. I mean, Pollux told me in together with the Czech politicians during MK Ultra. When I camped, you know, for the first time I, I took time to camp. To really enjoy myself. It was a shitty lake over there in Luoch. 
below lodge next to the hospital. This is a matka polka or whatever they say. Uh, now this Polish names are not so easy to pronounce and uh, a bit difficult right now. Um, it's gonna come to me, whatever. But near Lodge, in the southern part of Lodge, uh, they told me when they broke the fucking car to me in Czech Republic, because I was camping around and swimming and stuff like this, enjoying myself and looking for the job, you know. Uh, really was enjoying myself. And they told me, you know, I already wanted to fuck your car up in Poland, you know. Uh, when you were camping around that lake, we were already going to send you guys and just destroy the, the whole fucking car. And I was like, really? During MK Ultra, they told me, yeah, really. And why would you do this? And they told me, well, because, you know, you have a cancer. And the truth is, they were telling me at the lake over there, at the at this Matka Polka hospital, where this lake is, the Polacks, when they would hijack me, uh, they would tell me, well, during MK Ultra, uh, you have been already so long here around this lake. Look at your back, basically how your back looks like. You have these spots and so on. Uh, you're not far from getting uh, cancer. Uh, and this is just about to happen now at any time. So uh, what from what we see is just a few more days and uh, you're going to be dead. Once you get the, the skin cancer, you are dead and so on. This is the shit during MK Ultra. This is what went on during MK Ultra. So, uh, finally, in uh, Czech Republic, they were ahead and uh, they stole me the fucking telephones and uh, they destroyed me the car so that I would go back to Slovenia. This is basically the way this was. Yeah. This is the way this was. I had no choice other than collect whatever I had and go. Uh, so, I now also know more about what happened with the car and how and all this stuff. A little bit more about why they destroyed me the things. They really didn't have to do that. There was another issue that I am actually presenting a public hazard that uh, they needed the police to guard me uh, while I'm sleeping inside of the old Škoda Felicia <laughs> camping out there uh, at the lake and that kind of stuff. Uh, while I'm looking for the job, that they need the police to stalk me to make sure that I'm <laughs> well-being and so on. It was this kind of issues they embedded also in MK Ultra. <sighs> I doubt any of that kind of stuff ever happens. Uh, entertaining stuff. Now, all I want to do is basically finish the fable about this watch here. Fable for good night. It is already night outside. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you audio recording about these items, about this bullshit that I received at the postal office and basically what I had not received and I hoped I would receive at the postal office which is like I said this watch here right this watch this watch from what I recall uh, during MK Ultra was like very very big almost a little bit too big in my head during MK Ultra it presented too big uh, I liked one I wanted this kind of watch but it was it's kind of a big watch and I was always looking to buy small watches everybody was laughing at my taste about my watches and so on I liked small watches small fine stuff uh, and it was this guy who claimed that he absolutely knew everything about me and so on and so forth, that he completely studied me, that 
he knew absolutely everything about me. Look at him. Uh, he is almost about to disappear these days. One of these days, you're gonna you're gonna hear. Uh, Charles Windsor died, and so on and so forth. It was involved in MK Ultra. I know it was involved in MK Ultra because uh, during MK Ultra, it was so casual. This stuff. Uh, it was like not really real. This stuff. It wasn't like uh, you know. This it, it sounds to me more like crap. I mean, you know, like porn, basically, or something like that. This shit with a Charles bullshit dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged with like a little million of beautiful females involved in MK Ultra, out of which I had absolutely nothing. Nothing. So many females and so nothing. Not little, but really, really nothing. One female, actually, all right, one female that was involved in MK Ultra, I managed to crusher and then it was another one uh, that would go out there and snug with me but that was it basically uh, nothing otherwise there this was mm, basically nothing other than How can I say? Other than waste of time, basically. You know. Just burning somebody time, burning somebody life, basically sentence him to death. You know, for your own pleasure. Um, I already have discussed sickness to these people and no longer want to do this. Obviously, it's a waste of time. Um, it ended up with Literally, Camila alone, uh, Charles gone of the picture, and Camila basically alone. Uh, my asking Camila what she's going to do with her life, basically. What is now, what is it now? I mean, if he's going to die, right? I, I, you, you can't take this shit seriously anymore. I took them, I took these people seriously. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I took these people seriously as much as they took me seriously. The thing is, they took me more seriously than I took them. <laughs> I also played with them. I also asked them questions that were stupid, whatever, just to see their reactions, just to have basically something to do with it, to basically get some kind of feedback to see how, what, more or less, you know, it was not without the reason that I mentioned earlier, the word porn, basically. Porn, porn, like on a kilos, fucking porn, you produce that stuff. This was MK Ultra. I lost interest in MK Ultra. It was a waste of time. There was nothing interesting about it. Um, it always had the same scenario. It always ended up with the same scenarios. The scenarios repeated. It was the same shit. It was boring. Uh, but it seems like these people uh, never stop being entertained. That's what's that's what's fascinating to me. He just Charles was the most. Uh, Childish person actually involved in MK Ultra. I would love to say that he was childish, but he had this very, very dark side. He had this drama issues involving it that eventually, eventually, as he's gonna learn in the court, uh, it costed me 52 years of life. And, yeah, that's why he's going to do the same thing like Queen Elizabeth have. Now, look, folks. Uh, I already announced that King Charles is not going to last for much longer.
when he became a crown, basically. You know, that's a long, long, long time ago, right? So, well, go here. You're gonna have to do this stuff again. This is not okay. This is not okay, man. 